What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's had a great weekend. Uh, my JMU Dukes are getting ready to kick off right now, and actually, I should be putting them on the TV because I definitely want to see how they are doing right now. Um, be that as it may, um, we did our um, live stream today, and it was almost like a funeral. Even though we won yesterday, wow, JMU is already up 10 nothing, 10 nothing. I should have, it's 15 and a half point spread, should have put some money on them. Um, and they're only eight minutes into the game, actually, seven minutes into the game, they're up 10 nothing. Um, be that as it may, I was sitting there talking to the crew and it seemed like a funeral because people are really down on the Cowboys with the multitude of injuries that we have with our running game being as bad as it is with the rookie offensive lineman with our defense not looking as good as you would hope it's been rough it has been really really rough for Cowboy fans right now and the funny thing is is Jerry Jones the ultimate um, optimist I guess we should say and I'm going to tell you that this really was deja vu. Yesterday, Jerry Jones, talking about Ryan Fauntleroy, okay, and I know I mispronounced his name, but talking about how good, oh, I can't wait, I can't wait to see that guy. You know he's got Des Bryant stuff in him, okay? Des Bryant stuff, okay? He's selling us on... A six-round draft pick. We heard earlier in the week, you know, they, they're closer to knowing the situation with Brandon Cooks. Brandon Cooks got an infection in his knee from a procedure. We don't know what the procedure was. We don't know what kind of infection or anything else. But the first thought was he might miss a game or two. But now he's on injured reserve. That means he's going to miss a minimum of four games. This is clearly a lot worse than what they thought they were. Earlier in the week, they said, you know, we're, we're not in on the Devontae Adams. He's the number one. We got our guy in C.D. Lamb. Okay, I get that you got your guy. But you got your guy, and then you have a bunch of guys that haven't been proven in the NFL. Now, I hope that Jalen Tolbert, that's the number two wide receiver, steps up and plays incredible. I hope... Ryan Fanteroy steps up and plays like Des Bryant, just catching it on the catch, no catch. But I'm not sure that having a $60 million quarterback and a $34 million wide receiver, that you end up having a running game that's as atrocious as this and think that that's going to be a winning formula. People, people, I want you to understand Jalen Tolbert, in his career right now, as we speak, has 440 yards. 440 yards. Okay? Jalen Brooks has 116 yards. Now, at least Jalen Tolbert does have three TDs. We're talking less than 600 yards of experience in the NFL. And Jerry Jones is talking like we got Jesus in a jug. Like we've got, you know, the next Des Bryant in Fauntleroy. And I'm going to take you back to <laughs> deja vu here. Because two years ago, two years ago, the Cowboys... Started the season, they got rid of, after they got rid of Amari Cooper, after they got rid of Cedric Wilson, Jerry Jones sold us on Jalen Tolbert. Like, Jalen Tolbert was going to make you forget about Amari Cooper. Now, again, I love Jalen Tolbert. I've done a print for him and everything else. Saw him at training camp and, you know, great guy. This is what Jerry Jones said Two years ago in October. Because, see, that season, we had C.D. Lamb 
and a bunch of guys. Cowboys owner Jerry Jones said the team has received calls from teams offering wide receiver help. See, this is the first problem I have. Why is it we always sitting around waiting for somebody to call us? If you wanted to date, if you are a guy who's single and you're looking for a woman, do you just sit at your house and wait for some woman to call to say, hey, I'd like to go out with you. Let's get together. I bet if you do that, you don't have too many people call for a date. But that's what Jerry does. He says, after finding out that people have been calling, offering wide receiver help, we'll just see. We will see. But he likes his four tight ends and what Jalen Tolbert has shown. And James Washington is nearing return. We don't have to do anything, but if it's right, we'll do something. Let me go through as we sit two years from them. Dalton Schultz is in with the Texans. Peyton Hendershot went to Green Bay, was it? And he's cut. James Washington, the unicorn. James Washington played like three plays for the Cowboys and had a drop. No receptions, just a drop. And, oh, that was it. And we had Noah Brown. Somehow, Dak Prescott took that ragtag group of wide receivers and somehow we scored points, although I will say we had a better running game. We had a better running game because we had Zeke and Tony Pollard. And between the two of them, they got about 2,000 yards. Right now, Zeke's headed for about 400 yards, maybe. Okay. So the problems we have are not new. The problems we have are the same ones Jerry Jones has been having and doesn't seem to want to do anything about them. This is the true definition of insanity. We've been here before. And while other teams are trying to figure out how to make their team better, we're okay just sitting pat and doing nothing. And people want to blame Jerry, I want to blame Dak Prescott. They want to blame Mike McCarthy. And we honestly, right now, if you look at offensive weapons that we have in comparison to every other team, you got one guy, CD. And that is not anywhere near enough to compete in the NFL. This is what's maddening to me, the Cowboy fan. It's ridiculous when you hear the crap that we hear. We can't afford. We can't afford. As you see Jerry Jones fly in on his helicopter. The funniest thing is, if you look at it on Twitter, and you see when Jerry Jones says things like, you know, I can't wait to see Fauntleroy, he's getting lit up on Twitter. But hey, what do I know? I'm just Joe the fan. As always, I appreciate you guys. I've got a shower surround to put up, excuse me, shower doors to put up. So I'm going to go take care of that. As always, I appreciate you. Peace out.